This is perfect. With the creeper farm and the sugarcane farm, we can get unlimited fireworks. What's up, guys? Jason here. Welcome to episode 5 of Multiplayer Minecraft Survival. In this episode, I'm back here with my friend Mackenzie. Hey, guys. Alright, so basically, guys, in this episode, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making a creeper farm. That way, we can get some fireworks. And then later on, we're going to go raid an end city so we can get an elytra. That'll be a perfect combination so we can explore our world much easier. The creeper farm will require a lot of solid blocks, so what we're going to do is we're going to get some levels from our gold farm over here. Then what we're going to do is we're going to go enchant our axes to try to get efficiency on them. That way we'll be able to mine through trees a lot faster so we can get all our materials. Guys, right, so now that I'm at level 30, I'm going to try to enchant my axe. Let's see what we can get. Sharpness 4, fortune 1. Ooh, let's try fortune. Ooh, that's pretty good. Fortune 1 efficiency 2. I'll take that. Nice. See what I get. Okay, I got smite and smite three. Oh, come on. We want efficiency for our farm. Come on, I got all the bad ones. Whatever. All right, guys. Now we're going to go to a nearby forest near our base, and we're going to try to get as many blocks as we can. That way we can make our creeper farm. Now we're going to try to get as many blocks as we can. Oop, I'm mining through pretty quick. Hopefully this won't take too long. But I actually don't want to mine here for a while, so I'll have Mackenzie gather all the wood for me while I go sit oh, back and relax really? at the base. That <laughs> yes. is not fair. Yeah, go mine it all no. up. Yes, yes. No, get back here. No, no, you oh, go do I it. don't have my fishing rod no more. Come on, get back here. No, no, no. You're going to have to that do it. That is not fair. All right, guys, it's been a while. I'm going back here to check on Mackenzie, and she's still mining trees. I think she's probably Whatever. almost done. Look how much. She's mined out so many trees already. <laughs> so, think yeah. Good? I think Yeah, I think it's good. Now we're just get, we never got I'm going to use some shears and try to mine up some leaves, because we're also going to need some leaves for this. Luckily, shears just shred through leaves so quickly. Alright guys, we gathered all the materials, we put them in these chests, and we took the ones that we need for now. Build up 100 blocks, and I'll help you place the ladders. Okay. Alright, let's go. This is so much easier when you have more than one person. I know. A lot faster. Oh. Now that we build up 100 blocks, now we're going to place two blocks this way. And one block this way. Now we're going to build out six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to make a little platform. This will be our little waiting area. Now we've done that. We're going to place a little tube just like this. A little two by two. And we're going to build each of these sides up 30 blocks high. Now that we've built this, now I'm going to break these blocks over here. Then place two blocks over here, two blocks over here. And I'm going to take, going to take some chests, place a double chest over here. Then I'm going to break out this block over here. Then I'm going to go inside, place down my four hoppers, and I'm going to make sure they're all funneling towards the chest. This way we can collect all of the creeper drops. Alright, after I've done that, now temporarily I'm just going to place some ladders so we can get back up to the top and build the next step. Now that we're at the top of our 30 block tube, we're going to place leaves all around the top layer, just like this. Then, what we're going to do is we're going to extend out in eight blocks in each direction. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And then we're going to extend out eight blocks here, here, and here. And then finally, we're going to make a 20 by 20 block platform. Okay, so now that we've made our 20 by 20 block leaf platform, we're going to build the walls one block high, all the way around, just like this. And we're also going to put some stairs on top. Okay. Alright, nice. Look, this is teamwork right here. Mackenzie's placing the first <laughs> layer, I'm placing the stairs on top. This is perfect. Alright guys, now that we've made our walls all around just like this, we're going to create a little infinite water source. That way we can use two water buckets to place all the water that we need for this farm. Oh, alright, this one here, one here. Alright, Mackenzie, you can have a bucket and okay. place them on the stairs. So place them on every single stair all the way around. Make sure you place some blocks to cover up your infinite water source. That way, in the end, and then break those blocks that you placed. All your water should go and funnel in just like this, and then stopping right before your center tube. The next step is to come over here, and then you go up five blocks. So, one, two, three, four, five. Come on over here, place a block there. Whoa. And to go up to a total of five blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Then extend out three blocks this way. Then break the two blocks in between. One more time, three blocks. And then break these two blocks over here. 
it should end up being one away from the edge. Then do some parkour to get across. And then three blocks on this side. Break these two. And then three blocks. And then break these two. Now we're going to extend these. Now we're going to extend these all the way until we get one away from the edge. So as you guys can see here, this is one block away from the edge. Then you go on this side as well, extend the line all the way. We're one block away from the edge, and we're going to do this on every single one of these little blocks that we set up. By the way, guys, you guys can break these four blocks that you used to get up to set up these first two set of blocks. Once you have made the first layer, it should look something like this. So you should have about six lines. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come over, come over here to one of the lines, go over three blocks, one, two, three, and then break these two blocks. And then you can extend this all the way across until you get to the same length as the other lines. That way, you will, you will work on creating your second layer. By the way, guys, you will need to make five total layers. So you have finished making all your five layers. Then what you're going to do is you're going to come up three blocks, just like this. And you got six blocks this way. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And then six blocks this way as well. One, two, three, four, five, six. Then you're going to extend this on all corners. As you can see, Mackenzie's working on it over there. Then we're going to make a roof. By the way, guys, once you're done making the roof, you can break these temporary blocks that you placed. So it goes. Alright guys, once you have finished making the roof, then you're going to take some slabs and place them all along the top just to prevent mobs from spawning on top. Alright guys, once you have finished making the roof and placing slabs all on the top, then you're going to come back down here. Then you're going to take some buttons, it could be any buttons you want, and just layer buttons all around the sides of each of these lines that you've made. Once you guys have placed your buttons all around the sides, then you're going to place one every other block on top. This will prevent spiders from spawning. Then guys, what you're going to do is you're going to place trap doors all along the bottom of the next line. As you guys can see here, we finally finished placing our buttons and trap doors all along each line. There are buttons all around the sides, just like this. And then there's buttons every other block on top. And then, and then on the bottom of the next layer, there are trap doors. Alright guys, as you can see there, creepers are starting to come down. And after a couple minutes, we got a lot of gunpowder. By the way guys, if you want to learn how to make this super easy and efficient automatic Minecraft Bedrock Creeper Farm, then you can find an in-depth tutorial on my channel. It is called Easiest Creeper Farm. By the way, I will have a link to this tutorial in the description. Now that we have completed our Creeper Farm, now what we're going to do is we're going to go, going to, go to the end, and then we're going to try to get some elytras, so that way we can put our Creeper Farm to good use by using it to make fireworks. Alright, we made it back to the stronghold and we're going to go to the end to find an end city. Alright guys, I think what we have to do is we have to throw an ender pearl over here. And we should get teleported. Yep, we're teleported. We made it to the end city. Oh yay! Oh, let's go Mackenzie, first time! <laughs> Alright guys, we came up here. I found some chests, but it's guarded by Shulkers. So we have to kill the Shulkers first. Alright, come on. Let's get them. Let's kill them, nice. Shot a couple of them. There's so many. I'm still levitating. Oh, I'm levitating over. Actually, this is helping me though. So I'm able to get over. I know. No, they're watching me up. Ooh. Oh, I, oh, I made it. I nice! We got some... There's some enchanted iron armor, and there's a lot of iron, and some diamonds. You know what, Mackenzie? Let's kill some endermen so we get some ender pearls so we can travel easier. Okay. really want to find that elytra. I know. Alright, guys. We finally found another end city, and this one has an end ship. Let's go! Ooh, nice. Alright. The elytra should be in there, so... First, let's raid this little building over here, and then let's try to get the ship. Okay. Ooh, guys, I found some more chests. Hopefully we can get some good stuff this time. <gasps> yes! I, I got diamond stuff. Ooh, nice! Protection 4, let's go! That's so good! Wow. That's amazing. Alright, we have another end chest over here. Ooh, guys, I found some more chests. Alright, that's pretty good. Some iron gear. Ooh, yeah. Hopefully we get some more diamonds, though. Ooh, diamond gear. Let's go. Ooh, nice. Actually, hit me. I don't care. Alright. Yes, the shulker, the shulkers helped me. And they're helping me right now. Alright, guys, get ready. We're about to get our first elytra. Ooh, there it is. I see it. Give me that. Come on. Yes, I got it. Let's go. First elytra. That's so oh, awesome. Lucky. All right, what's in here? Ooh, some gold. That's nice. What's over here? I don't want it. Let's kill the sugar box. Oh, the sugar, yeah. 
All right, let's go. Oh, this is so cool. We're gonna make it back so quickly. All right, we're almost back home. Let's go. Oh yeah, Mackenzie, how does it feel to be back? It's awesome. Let's go. Ooh, this is perfect. We can use our sugarcane farm over here. Let's talk about some paper. Then we can use our gunpowder farm to get more gunpowder. I've already got a whole stack. So that way we can make some fireworks. Girl. Ooh, I got like three stacks of fireworks. Ooh, this is awesome. awesome. Alright guys, let's try it out now. The elytra. I can just go here and use the fireworks to go around. There you go. Let's go. This is perfect. With the creeper farm and the sugarcane farm, we can get unlimited fireworks. Now we can just go around and explore as much as we want. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of Multiplayer Minecraft Survival. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions of stuff that we should do in future episodes. Please like, comment, subscribe, and check out my other Minecraft videos. I upload every day. Thanks for watching.